Hey, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. If you're a subscriber to Adobe's Creative Cloud, I'm going to show you the quickest way to convert low resolution black and white raster images into vector shapes that will keep its razor sharp edges no matter how large you make it. Open any black and white raster image such as clip art or a logo. I'll go to Image and Image Size to show you its size and resolution. As you can see, its width and height are relatively small and its resolution is only 72 pixels per inch. First, let's trim away the excess white surrounding our image. To do this, go to Image and Trim. It doesn't matter which one of these are ticked. Make sure all four corners are checked and click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to Window and Libraries. Click Create New Library and name it anything you want. I'll click Cancel since I already created it and named it earlier. Click the plus icon at the lower right corner of the panel and click Extract from Image. As you can see, we can make our image into different patterns, but for this example, click Shapes. We can adjust the amount of detail. For this image, 50 looks good. We can choose to smooth it out or not when we save it. I find that smoothing gives us a more accurate image. Then click Save to CC Libraries. When you see the green Saved button, we can close the window. Our image is now saved as a vector shape in our library. We can name it whatever we want by double-clicking its caption and renaming it. To see our vector image, click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. If they're inverted, press X. Since white is our background color, Press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Drag your vector shape onto the document. To see how it looks enlarged, at the top, make sure the chain link icon is active between the transform's width and height. This links them together. In either field, type in a large percentage. Notice the edges are sharp and crisp. I'll press Ctrl or Command Z to undo the last step. If you want to change the color, click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Solid Color. Pick any color you want. To clip it to your vector shape, press and hold Alt or Option as you hover your cursor between the Adjustment Layer and the vector shape. When you see this icon, click it. Another way to clip it is to go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.